faces right now. <laughs> I wouldn't take all of his subscribers over mine, <laughs> or all of his attention over my little bit. I wouldn't trade you guys for his followers for sure. Not, not to be in the position he's in tonight, but uh, I've watched a lot of his content, and what I've found is that um, so much of what he says about uh, men being strong and uh, disciplined and focused and, um, you know, that type of message to young men is good, but a lot of the information that he has, that he gives, a lot of the advice that he gives, I don't believe is good, and that's what I'm going to focus on, so please, again, I'm not hating on Andrew Day. I'm not. I'm just trying to give a, um, a different type of opinion versus what he preaches on, what he speaks on. Um, I'm trying to adjust my microphone. Sorry. Okay. So, for starters, uh, how he speaks about women and basically, like, he, he says that the are a man's possession, and that the man should be in control of the woman. I do agree that um, there are certain instances where I feel like a woman should be submissive to the man um, in a situation um, where there's conflict, and maybe there's an impasse, and it's, it's a 50-50 situation, and nobody, you know, they can't decide what to do. situation, if, if I was a man, in a hypothetical situation, I'm a man, I work, the woman doesn't work, I, you know, in that situation, I, I think I would ask her to submit in that situation, but certainly not to treat her with disrespect and not to um, treat her like property, so there's very few occasions where I would feel I was, I owned a person as a piece of property, and sometimes I think a lot of the things that he says make it sound like that, like a woman is his property. Um, he talks about his kids. Um, I know that for a long time he never admitted that he has kids, but well, he now admits that he has four kids and different, different moms, but his advice to young man is to go to a different country, get a woman pregnant, come back to your home country. If the woman asks to come to your home country, tell her no, and just go visit the family whenever you get time. <laughs> and that to me is shocking, because it might be great for the man's sex life, but it sure will not be great for the, for the kid. his dad was not around much and he feels like he still turned out okay that that's the best way to raise a kid because he feels like he turned out good so he thinks that's the recipe for success but he's discounting um, he's discounting the, the, the kids that have turned out good that did have dads like my dad wasn't around either but and I feel like I turned out good, but I wish I would have had a dad that was around, you know, and I think that, um, I read a book one time, it was called The Faith of the Fatherless, and the premise was that if men, if boys grow up uh, with an absentee 
so much on the woman and the kid stuff because I still just don't I don't get that part of him I don't understand why he's that aggressive um, towards women and um, so um, nonchalant when it comes to how to raise a kid and being present in that kid's life you know I, I feel sorry for his kids so in that instance I definitely don't
it's like I just really don't appreciate people that won't give out advice um, for free because they don't need the money you know um, that bothers me it's like I know a lot of these online gurus like Grant Cardone Tony Robbins they got rich telling other people how to get rich you know they had money but they didn't so 
Brazil. I'm like, you know, I watched one of his videos the other night and he was like, he, he said like, go cook my food and why aren't you cooking and cleaning, you bimbo? You know, just calling names and stuff like that. That's just, you know, maybe he's just trying to try to make people laugh. But again, it's, it's, it's disrespectful to women and it sets a bad example of how a man should really be. So, if he, if he could stick to just the, like, the confidence and the discipline topics and, and, and show off his cars, okay, that's fine if you're comfortable doing that and, and people are comfortable supporting him and just giving him even more money. That is the main premise of the things that I struggle with when it comes to entry day. But uh, all, I, do, I don't think he should be canceled. I think everybody should be. I don't think censorship should exist. I mean, obviously, we don't want people to, you know, uh, be allowed to uh, give instructions on how to make bombs or something horrible like that. But um, when it comes to speech, we, we shouldn't be censoring people just because we don't agree with their opinion. So I, I'm glad he can speak. You know, the Twitter's allowed him back on. I'm glad he's free. Now he's not free to speak because he's in jail, but I'm glad that he was given back some of his platforms. Um, and I know Rumble uh, gave him his platform when everybody else canceled him, but, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of free speech and I want him to be able to have his message out there. I'm just kind of given a, a devil's advocate view of somebody that doesn't believe quite like he does. I believe a lot like he does, but not exactly. So, there you have it. My take on Andrew.